got my cucumbers planted. Oh, I don't know if you noticed, but my melon is gone. The melon I had sitting here. Uh, some animal had been chewing on it and where it had taken a like nibbles off of it and everything. Uh, it looked like it started to get an indentation and while I was out here, you know, trying to pull a couple of, a little bit of grass out of here, um, I noticed that that little indentation had ants in it and they were eaten away and it had already broken through the, you know, the outside of the melon to the inside. So I went ahead and picked it, even though it wasn't fully ripe yet, because I'd much rather take it inside and have it inside so the the animals and the ants and who knows what else, you know, would uh, be picking at it. Um, and I don't want it to rot. So, so what I did was I picked it and I took it in the house. Anyway, I've, uh, I went ahead and uploaded that other video of where I planted the cucumbers. And uh, I noticed that that cloud that went through made it look like it was going to rain on me was gone. <laughs> that cloud just boogered on and didn't drop it. any rain at all. I did fill a few sprinkles off of it though. But look look up there. Can you see it? That's the tail end of it. It went it went that way. And now it's nice. It's nice. Okay. The only thing that's not nice right now are the mosquitoes. They're a bunch of little mean critters. Mosquitoes. Right, but as long as I keep moving, then maybe they won't bother me too much. But uh, I was really hoping we'd get some rain dumped on this today. But we didn't. So tomorrow I'm going to come out and I'm going to, like I said, over there where, where that is, I'm going to do another row, kind of like this, going through there of something else. I do have some more cucumbers that I could plant in there. Um, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to do some squash in this area. I'm not quite sure what kind of squash yet. But over here on this side, where all that is, I think I'm going to knock out some of that tomorrow. And uh, maybe I'll put something, you know, depending on how I feel. I have been feeling kind of crappy lately, but I might just clear all that out and go ahead and kind of do it like I did there. Just dig little bits and then put something else in there and leave room in between to push a mower so I'd keep that mowed down. So... Maybe I can do the same thing over there and have another, a whole other uh, set of uh, garden beds. But we'll see. Um, and I, I do have, you know, a lot of other areas back here I could go ahead and throw something into if I want to. Um, I need to move all that again. <laughs> Get out, bug. Sorry about complaining about the uh, mosquitoes, but uh, I just figured I'd come out here and do a little talking. But anyway, uh, I found out why I'd been feeling so crappy lately, and uh, it turns out it's hypertension, and uh, so I am, uh, over the past few days, I've just totally changed you know what I eat what I drink and uh, I'm gonna see if I can get that under control and I, I've checked my blood pressure you know like like pretty much probably ten times a day since then but anyway I see some deer over there in the field we turn this around
You see the deer over there in the field? There's a couple of them over there. Alright. That's my white truck right there. And the deer are like right here and the other one right there. Alright. Yeah, we have a lot of deer around here. Deer. I, one day I was counting deer over in that field and I counted over 30 of them. And they like to get in this field, field right here next to my house as well. And they do cut through my backyard. I mean, yeah, that field next to the house. And they, they cut through uh, to the, uh, the backyard and then beyond. They like my gardens and they like my uh, they like my gardens and they, they like my fruit trees. Whew. Let's sit on this side this time. Wow. Got a pretty sky up there. This is the view off my front porch. Look at that sky. Ain't that pretty? I do have a road, you know. You know, I am kind of close to some houses here, but it's okay. I mean, I'm in town, but, um, see the deer over there? Hey, <laughs> I'm in town, but it's like being out, you know, because I am in a small town out in a rural area. So it's like being out in the country, which I am but I'm also in town. So for, for a lot of people, that's considered out and about away from others. But I'm not, I've, I've got neighbors. And uh, I've got, um, that's my truck because my daughter lives right there. Um, well, my oldest daughter. I've got three girls and a boy. My oldest daughter lives there. That's why my truck's over there. And, uh, you know, that's how small towns are. And then over here on this side, the house right up here, that's where my mother lives. And we share a driveway. So my mom, she goes up and down this driveway and parks behind her house. I go up and down this driveway and I park back here next to my house or, or back where my shed is. And uh, anyway, I like my porch too. Let me back up. Backing up here to the edge. As you can see, I'm standing on the edge here. And uh, this is my porch. So I got a lot to a lot of room on my porch here. Uh, but anyway, I, uh, I was talking about, you know, hypertension, different things I have to do to be able to correct that, and also the uh, uh, meals and uh, liquids that I put into my body. I found out that I was overdoing it on the salt. Um, so I totally cut out salt. I mean, not totally, but I don't add salt, you know, for flavorings or anything. I'm, I'm, I've cut out adding salt. And I've cut out uh, drinking any kind of alcohol or anything like that because I want to make sure that I, I don't mess myself up in any way. Um, I'm, I'm really, I mean, the other day scared me. It, it really did scare me. And, uh, I, uh, I'm going to do what I can to take it and get it under control. So, wish me luck. The mosquitoes are eating me again. I'm going to get up off of here. And I'm going to. 
I'm gonna go in the house. We're gonna get our little porch garden going a little bit better here. Darn. All right, talk to you later.